So uh, the supplies for the Bicho came in, got him right here. I already took one big box. These are the last two. So I'm spraying the uh, sculpture with some release agent. And here I'm mixing up the first layer of the silicone mold. This layer is going to be really watery, so it covers every detail. See how watery it is there? It just kind of rolls down the, the mold. Right there, I, I poured some keys so I can use them later for the uh, for registering the silicone mold with the hydrocal mother mold. Right now, I'm mixing the the other layer, which is thick. I added a thickener and also a blue tint so I can tell that I've covered everything. And this is the third layer, thickened again, but without color, so I know where I, where I covered and where I didn't. So, lost a little bit of the footage here, sorry, but um, that's, I'm putting the hydrocal mother mold over it. That's the first half, the front half. Using some burlap for strength. So there's the, the uh, actual mold. It's a negative of the um, sculpture. You see the horns in there and the eyes. All right, so it's an exact copy of the sculpture, but uh, in negative. So I'll pour the plastic in there, and uh, when it dries, I'll have a positive copy of my mold. And those are the keys. That's how the keys work. See how they register into the hydrocal so that it lines up. The other half of the mold. So you'll see, without the mother mold, it's too soft. It's kind of like a balloon. That that allows me to basically peel it open and release the the, the cast when I'm done. So yeah, I can just roll it. It's very flexible, but it needs that uh, mother mold to keep it in shape while I'm pouring the casting material, which is the the plastic. And there I am registering the holes again. You can see how easy that works when everything lines up. And the little keys register. So I'm putting some tape there to keep it together while I roll the mold around because this plastic is designed to be used in kind of like a spinning mold. You just move it around in there and it coats the surface. You'll see it in a minute how it gets white as it. Uh, as it cures, it starts producing heat, which is interesting. And then it'll cure, you see it there turning white. Here I'm mixing up a thickening agent with the, uh, the plastic, it's a powder so that it's easier to spread around inside, kind of like a cake frosting. And here's the casted copy of the head. Still got a little bit of clay on it. It's got to be cleaned up and he needs a mask, but uh, there you have it. First one, more to come. See you next time.